Hello from Chinature.com, this is Mark Josie. Today I'll do a shooting uh, test shooting review with this uh, birdie here, the Droz Blackbird. And this is my new setup with the tank as a stock right here. Now let me let me just show you. Okay, this is a this is a ninja tank, 13 CI <coughs> Ninja. Okay. First Make sure you know this is a on off, inline on off. It's actually just a device that you screw <laughs> into the port and it allows you to turn the tank off without having to uh, shoot and pull the tank out. So it's really good a device and it actually make your uh, gun better because like if, you, if I want to stop shooting, I basically just turn the thing in and it will stop the airflow and everything is safe. So, right now you see it right here, you can put the tank right here as a stock like this, and it works. Let's look at this way. So it's actually the right, um, right spot and everything just, you know, everything is great. So um, here in the hopper, there, there are um, over 1,000 BBs, but you know, I don't have a like huge space here for shooting So today I'll try to shoot and demolish these mega cans. What, what I mean by mega cans is this I put a pop can in the middle with a smaller tin can inside so that's three layers of stuff Okay, I'm gonna put two of these up on, in the target range and we'll take a look and see how my spraying action will go Let's take a look. Now let's turn the gun on and power it up. Okay, so turn on the air. Good enough. Okay, great. Make sure my dust sight. Okay, point to the safe direction. Okay. Let's go over to the range. At about 16 feet. Okay. Let's go, guys. I'm gonna shoot in single. Single shot. Now let's look at this. This is six shot in with the highest rate of fire from the stock motherboard. Wow, very loud. The uh the gun is mega loud. Let's take a look at that. Woo. Okay, let's aim a little bit, little bit lower. Okay guys, keep shooting. I think we have demolished enough. Let's turn the gun off. And right now we want to turn the air off as well because we're out of air already. I think I emptied the whole 13 CI tank. So let's look at the target first and we'll take a look at the uh, other stuff. This is the end result. As you can see it's just torn the three layers apart easily. You can't even open it and it powderized the can in the center. Let's look at this one. I I am not so fond of shooting this one because I'm afraid that it will, will I'm afraid that it will, you know, shoot uh, out the edge. So I'm trying to keep it to the center. But as you can see, it's torn through the three layers. Holy crap! Look at that. And let me try to pull out one of these. You can't. It's stuck inside. And this one. No shit. And the inside is like this. So you can't really do anything. You see? Okay, let's take a tour around. 
Oh, look at that. Whoa, holy shit. <laughs> oh, my. Poor dude. See? Now, let's take a look at the um, pocket box. Okay, lots of PBs went in. Luckily, we've got a nice trap set up, so everything is safe because uh, we have a duct seal here to back it off. So, anything that, you know, goes beyond this, it will be on here. So, yeah, lots of BBs. And it's pretty crazy as well. Nice power. Okay, so let's go back to the main screen. Now back to our main screen. I just turned off the gun, the gas, the air, and right now we take a look at the PSI on the Ninja tank. It was at 3,000 PSI, the full mark. Right now it's down here already, emptied, almost. See, so the tank is kind of cold, and it's running low, very low in air almost empty and I'm sure that you can't really shoot anymore you just emptied it out and I shot how many shots I don't know like it's about five minutes of fun and after five minutes spraying all those shots with the six shot burst everything is gone no more air okay and uh, that's it <laughs> okay the first thing I want to do is unplug take this out and basically you can really I'm not joking like look inside the compartment oh, shit. Okay, I can't really show you. It was really really full, but right now it's almost like down to you know Halfway or something. So I shot about I don't know how many shots I shot But anyway, so here we go This is the tank and you can now screw this out fill this up with air again And the gun is ready to go and fire again really really good gun really good gun no joke and um the power Okay, I'm sure that the power is not very used up, so just to test it, okay, let's take out the batteries. These are the six batteries. I'm using the Energizer Lithium. Okay, I have six here. Let, let's take one and do a test. Okay, it is a new battery, okay? Not very new, but still pretty new. Now I got my tester. Uh, lithium AA. Okay, there we go. Look at the light above. Mmm. Used up one block. Okay, quite a lot. Test another one. Wow, halfway. This thing, when I uh, before I used it today, it used to be at about seventy percent because I shot a few sessions. But actually, right now I proved that it actually did used up quite a bit. Wow, shooting rapid fire and all that actually do consume battery. I'm testing all six for you guys to see. Halfway. Wow. Okay, two more. Pretty consistent. It actually did balance out the uh, battery voltage, maybe, because all the batteries are about the same kind of level. So that surprised me. Whoa! Pretty dead. I mean, like if I if I used it one more time, I'm sure that I need to change battery already. Ooh, hungry. Okay, so we proved that it went from about seventy percent down to like the 40% mark and uh, in just one session shooting half a meg so if you really you know you want to dump all 1,000 rounds out in one session I'm sure that you need to have neither like spare battery rechargeable batteries whatever okay so make sure guys you know that if you're shooting a lot buy a lot of batteries and 1.5 volt batteries are stronger than rechargeable batteries as well and um, I find that the Zeno brand, a uh, 3.6 volt battery, the non-rechargeable type. Those, they are more powerful, but then they do have this uh, self-discharge thing that actually drains out over time. So if you don't use them for a few years, uh, like three years or so, they will drain out and uh, it will end up to zero. So it's not so reliable, not my cup of tea. Anyway, so thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and like. Bye-bye!